Oh, well, 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 well. Ketu in the third house. And what happens when Ketu comes into your third house, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and germs? What is third house? Third house is a house of communication. It's your ability and it's the house that teaches you how to communicate. And the best way you communicate and you learn to communicate is with your siblings, with your friends, with your cousins, with your neighbors. You know, people just around you, near you. They teach you what communication is. So third house becomes a house of communication. Third house is also the house of encouragement, meaning your efforts. How much effort you put into something is seen from the third house. Third house is a house of short distance travel, like from here to work, from here to maybe to the beach or like an hour away, not those long distance journeys. Third house is a house of advertisement, media and sales. It's a house of salesmanship because salesmanship is what? Communication. Your ability to communicate will determine if you will sell that product or not. Your ability to communicate your message on a billboard will determine whether your marketing was successful or not and your ability to communicate with the public as in a journalist as in an anchor a vj somewhere determines how well you can sell your program to other people okay and yes i don't have a k2 in the second third house so i'm pretty good at my communication okay so when k2 comes here k2 is what isolation separation Separation from material world to the esoteric world. It is the things that we have already achieved in the past. It is the thing that we always fall back to because it's like Mars that already achieved the things. It doesn't need to strive for those things. Okay. So and Ketu represents spirituality. Ketu is that search for the truth. So one Ketu who wants to search for the truth and become isolated comes into all these people around him, you know. His ability to withstand the significance of the third house kind of goes haywire. Okay, so when it comes to communication with siblings and friends and you know close neighbors, it's detached. It's isolated. You feel isolated from your siblings. Your siblings may not be there to help you, and you do not like working in small group settings because third house represents small group settings. These guys, no, I can't do this. They become quite eccentric when they start to work with other people when they have to communicate with a sibling like siblings and these people have a complete different barometer of un understanding and communication okay and what this shows is that in your previous life you had a lot of communicative ability with your siblings with everybody else yet you were deprived of faith and religion in a past life so what happens is in this life, this is what you strive for. Because guess what? Rahu is in the ninth house of religion, faith, philosophy, higher learning. And you strive for that. So when you're surrounded by these people of lower, um, lower world, which I, and I, what I mean by a lower world is that they're talking about, hey, going to movies, going to clubbing, going to this party and that party, this occasion, that occasion, where you want to be like, no, what about going to the temple? What about going to the church? How about let's take a long walk up on the mountain? Okay, let's do something like that. So this is where the communication kind of goes haywire. And these people, if they are not teaching anything esoteric, if they're not communicating anything spiritual or religious, their ability to communicate with you is oh, not so good. They, they, they're, they're, they kind of lose track of what they're teaching you. So if somebody's teaching you or communicating with you or selling you a product with a third house Ketu, uh, you'll be like, okay, you were selling me about selling me a car, but now you're trying to sell me a motorcycle. What, what's going on here? That's how you're going to be with the salesmanship. So these people might come out a little bit cuckoo, crazy, but it's not that. It's just that their Ketu is trying to separate their subconscious with the real world all the time. And, but however, with Ketu in the third house, since Ketu is a shadow of Mars, Ketu says, I've already achieved this and no one can take this achievement from me from my past life. These people have this courage within them. They have this fighting ability within them. Like if you t try to take their, disturb their peace, 
that okay you can no longer go to church you can no longer study these philosophical books you cannot no longer uh, study wicca and magic and all those things they will fight you back they will know i am going to study this this is who i am so they they're quite determined when it comes to their belief on what they are trying to achieve in this life which is what religion and faith because of rahu so natural spiritual planet like ketu feel separated from everybody else okay so from the third house though ketu aspects the seventh house of marriage legal bindings legal relationships ninth house of religion philosophy higher learning and 11th house of brick group 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 circles gains network circles okay your elder siblings so let's see how its aspect is like so from third house ketu looks at the seventh house of marriage partnership legal partnerships okay and guess what happens the communication with the partner becomes quite eccentric you will not have the good ability to communicate with your partner and again it represents isolation and separation from partner especially in terms of communication if not physically separated okay and so these people whenever they communicate with their partner they go on off on other tangents than sticking to the actual subject of what needs to be handled because having a partner is communicative communication that you communicate with them every day so that affects your communication okay your partner can themselves could be quite eccentric they could be quite weird in personality and nature because ketu is influencing your seventh house then ketu looks at the ninth house so here when he's looking at the ninth house he wants to communicate he wants to communicate with the higher spiritual guidance he wants to know the truth but ketu's ability is to be separated from that so again when it comes to religion and when it comes to like mundane philosophy or higher learning they again separate themselves what this world has to offer and they want to look at it from outside they want to create their own little fantasy they want to create their own type of religion and remember rahu in the 9000 wants to do what go watch my rahu in the 9000 video these guys wants to create their own religion kind of like hitler wanted to create nazism you know and that bastard just used the hindu swastika as his own symbol i mean that's just that sucks like if i was to ever wear a swastika uh, in hindu swastika t-shirt most of the ignorant people around me will be like oh my god an indian white supremacist what's going on this country is really going to hell you know i mean i hate that guy for doing that because swastika is the most powerful symbol out there more powerful than even the illuminati symbol but that's what happens you know however remember third house represents your hands too and ketu's ability to look at the higher learning and higher religion philosophy and his ability to you know have skills of hand they have this healing ability towards them they're able to heal people because that's what ketu really is it's he was he's outside man he wants to do everything outside of that box and be connected to connect to some other world so that spirituality with the ability to use your hands gives somebody power to heal somebody whether it's to writing writing books about inspiration or whether it's to actually physically holding someone holding people then look here he looks at the 11th house of gains he looks at the 11th house of communic uh, of um larger group communication your network circle your professional network circle and so ketu runs away from that again these people ketu doesn't care about that they don't want to be in a big huge organization they don't want to be teaching this they don't want to be communicating with their professional uh, uh you know their professional network circle and they don't care about the gains either they're like what is gains for me nothing and so this is in a way this position you can say it's it is a tough position to have for ketu because everything that we need in the real world to make money to survive ketu makes you wants to run away from those things but at the same time if he was to become a writer if he was to become some sort of a spiritual divine communicator he can do good you know so you just got to balance the there's energy out of ketu all right
So guys, this was my analysis of Ketu in the third house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe above. And if you want to know where your Ketu is placed on the south node of the moon and your other planetary alignments, check out the link below. Check out my book there, Astrology at the Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart. Otherwise, see you tomorrow.